You're probably watching this video because you're wondering if you need an ES335 guitar. Well, you do. And here's seven reasons why this is the most versatile guitar ever. Emerging out of 1958, basically inspired by an acoustic guitar from the looks of it, as you can tell. Now, there are other models in the ES range. You've got the 345, the 355, and the 339. Those can be easily called out by their different visual appointments, as well as a uh, few different options here and there on those guitars. Played by the greats, Chuck Berry, Eric Clapton, B.B. King, I mean, Larry Carlton, Noel Gallagher, and even today, you know, with uh, rock giant Dave Brohl and Epiphone artist Emily Wolfe. Let's start off with reason number one, the obvious. It's a semi-hollow body construction instrument, okay? Bigger, beefier tones. There's more room in there for sound to move around in. Okay, you get a little bit more bottom, you get creamier mids and highs, thicker cleans, and usually they're lighter than a solid body guitar. So let's hear a little bit real quick. I'm playing through a Mesa Boogie Mark 7 amplifier with a uh, 412 rectifier cabinet mic'd up in the back. Reason number two, the double cutaway design, allowing for you to get up to those higher notes with ease. Reason number three, the electronics. You've got double humbuckers here, two volumes and two tones. There's a ton of tone shaping here and options on deck. And before we get to this next reason, make sure you hit the like button, ring the bell, and subscribe to our channel. It'll keep you up to date on future videos. Let's keep going. Reason number four, you've got a center block in these guitars to control the feedback issues. However, feedback can be a cool thing with these as well. Reason number five, ergonomics. This is an easy guitar to sit down with and play just because the body shape lends it to letting your hand just rest on top when you're strumming. It's also great when you're standing up, it's perfectly balanced and there's no real neck dive or anything like that. Reason number six, you can actually play this thing acoustically by itself. Because it's got F holes in there and it's semi-hollow, it's kind of like having an acoustic guitar. This could be helpful in a situation where you can't plug into your amp or you're just not by your rig and you've got a quick idea that comes to mind. You can just go ahead and play this thing.
So real quick, before I hit the last point, remember that all of the gear that we're using today, those links are gonna actually be in the description below. So you can click on them, it'll take you straight to our website for pricing, availability, and other options. Let's keep moving. And finally, reason number seven, it's classic looks. It's kind of a wild card on stage. You know, if you're playing some other genres besides uh, blues and jazz, and you got this on you, it's gonna turn some heads. People really won't see it coming. It's such a classic looking guitar that when you approach someone with it or when you get into a project with it, you've kind of got like an open slate here and it doesn't really stereotype it or lend itself as much as other guitar designs might. And you know, if you're a working uh, guitarist, session player, or you know, someone that plays in a lot of bands, you're gonna want one of these in your arsenal, hands down. So real quick, before we end the video, I thought it'd be cool to listen to this guitar versus a Les Paul guitar. Now go ahead and leave a comment below on what you thought the differences were and what stood out to you. And if you've got any experience to add here on playing a 335 guitar, we would love to hear that from you as well. Chances are you're super interested in an ES style guitar and you want to learn more. So be sure to check out our ES Buyer's Guide video where we hit everything from Epiphone all the way up to the prestigious Murphy Lab collection. Thanks for watching.